Did you know that in 2023, there are 10 incredible mega projects under construction around the world? From towering skyscrapers to massive real estate developments and even groundbreaking nuclear endeavors, these projects are set to redefine the landscape. Let's kick off with the Maya Tren, a remarkable passenger and freight railway project in North America. Number 10, Maya Tren, a big network is being built in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, stretching over 1,500 kilometers. President Andrés López Obrador wants to connect ancient archaeological sites in the southeast of the country to the popular Mexican beach resorts. This project costs around $10 billion. Obrador believes that the Maya Tren is essential to help boost the region's economy and address a historical debt to the southeast of Mexico. The construction will go through a massive jungle, and the railway will pass by many Mayan archaeological sites. This has led to opposition from indigenous communities, environmental groups, and others. Despite the criticism, the government sees the Meta project as a matter of national security and is determined to proceed. President Obrador values development over preserving historical sites and aims to have the first trains running on the Maya Tren by December 2023. Number 9. Yinjian Bihan Tunnel Yinjian Bihan Tunnel, a massive water project happening in China. They're working on this project to make sure there's enough water in both the southern and northern parts of the country. One major part of this project is the Yinjin Buhan Water Tunnel, which is a staggering 195 kilometers long. It will move water from the Three Gorges Dam to the Han River, and then redirect it to Beijing. This tunnel is incredibly deep, almost a kilometer in some places, and it will take about 10 years to build at a cost of around $9 billion. To give you a comparison, the longest water tunnel before this was in Finland and was 120 kilometers long and went about 130 meters deep. Completing this tunnel will take another 10 years, but once it's done, it will help grow more food and make more land suitable for farming for 150 million people. Number 8. The Line Saudi Arabia's plan to boost its economy through tourism has led to some big and ambitious projects. One of the most amazing of these is NEOM, a mega city that costs a whopping $500 billion. Recently, NEOM made headlines worldwide by revealing the line. It's an extraordinary skyscraper with two mirrored walls, each 500 meters tall, stretching for 170 kilometers across the desert. When they first announced this, many people didn't believe it would actually happen. But then Saudi Arabia surprised everyone by showing drone footage that suggests they've started digging at the site. Once the line is finished, it's supposed to be home to 9 million people, and the first residents could move in as soon as seven years from now, by 2030. Number 7. Wassel Tower Dubai is building something special on the border of Saudi Arabia. It's the Wassel Tower, a skyscraper that's going to be 302 meters tall. What makes it unique is its twisty, not quite straight design, and it will have the tallest ceramic covering in the region. When it's all done, the building's design will make it look like it's moving, even though it's not. Engineers are using different ways to keep it cool and shaded so it can handle Dubai's hot summers. They've already finished more than half of the planned 64 floors, and they hope to have it all done by 2024. Number 6. Eco-Atlantic City Now let's talk about Eco-Atlantic City in Africa. It's in Lagos, which is one of the fastest-growing cities in the world. They are building a new financial hub right by the Atlantic Ocean, and it's costing around $6 billion. This city is not funded by the government, it's a private project. They are making the city on land that they reclaimed from the sea. In Eco-Atlantic City, they are planning to have a bit of everything, like really tall buildings, fancy homes, and big shopping centers. While they still have a lot of buildings to put up, they've already made a lot of roads. They also have deals in place to bring some of the world's biggest financial companies to Lagos. The most exciting thing that happened at Eco Atlantic was in March 2022 when the United States said they could build a new consulate in the city. It's going to cost over half a billion dollars. Number 5. Nusantara. Let's talk about Indonesia. They're planning to build a new capital city on an island that's about 2,000 kilometers away from Jakarta. This idea comes from the current president, Joko Widodo. He wants the first part of this project to be finished by 2024, which is Indonesia's Independence Day. The reason they want to move the capital is because Jakarta has a lot of problems. 
it's very crowded, very polluted, and it's sinking because they've been taking too much water out of the ground. Plus, Jakarta is on Java Island, which is the smallest of Indonesia's islands, but it brings in more than half of the country's money. By moving to East Kalimantan, Indonesia hopes to balance things out. Right now, over 200,000 workers are busy building this new city called Nusantara. It's going to cost about $34 billion, and most of that money is coming from private companies. When it's all done in 2045, they want 3 million people to live there. Number 4. Chiu Shinkansen Back in 2014, they started making plans to make the world's fastest trains even faster. They called it the Maglev High Speed Rail. This train is supposed to be twice as fast as the bullet trains we have now because it uses a special thing called magnetic levitation. Now in 2023, they are building it even quicker than they thought they could. Even though most of the track goes through mountains and 90% of it is in tunnels, they are making good progress. If things keep going at this speed, people might get to ride the maglev train by 2027. This whole project is going to cost about $55 billion and it will go for 285 kilometers between Tokyo and Nagoya. The trip will only take 40 minutes because the train will go super fast, over 500 kilometers per hour. Number 3. Merdeka Tower In the middle of 2023, Malaysia is going to open the world's second tallest skyscraper, the Merdeka Tower. An official says they finished about 92% of the construction, so it looks like the mid-2023 deadline will actually happen. Last year, the Merdeka Tower became taller than the Shanghai Tower, making it the second tallest building globally, reaching a height of 678 meters. Kuala Lumpur, which is the biggest city in Malaysia, already has famous really tall skyscrapers like the Exchange 106 and the Petronas Twin Towers. Now, with the Merdeka Tower, it's got another impressive addition. Number 2. Doha Metro Qatar recently hosted the FIFA World Cup, and it wasn't the only thing they've been in the news for. The Doha Metro, a 76-kilometer train system, was a big deal during the World Cup. It was used to carry soccer fans between the stadiums every three minutes. This metro has 37 stations, and it connects five out of the eight World Cup stadiums. Over 18 million people rode the metro during the event. Without this train, the World Cup wouldn't have been possible in the way it happened. But they're not finished yet. After starting construction 10 years ago, they're now moving on to the next part of the project. They plan to add 60 more stations in the coming year. Number 1. Dasta Dam In Pakistan, they're going to keep building the Dasta Dam with help from China and money from the World Bank. This dam costs about $4.3 billion and is one of the biggest hydropower projects in Pakistan. It will help make more electricity available in the country. They were planning to finish the dam in 2022, but so far, they've only made about 12% of the progress. The main reason for the delay is that they couldn't get all the land they needed by 2019. Now, they're aiming to finish a diversion system by April 2023 and start making electricity in two years.